I know it's back to 75, but I'm sure it's way, way before that. I'm sure he can elaborate on it a little bit more. Please welcome to the show, the one and only, Michael McKinney. All right. The man with the bad five string. <laughs> the one and only, Keith Jackson. Oh, man. Honored to have you guys on the show. First of all, be here. yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I was looking at the Triumph album. These guys happen to be up here with the one and only Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, Tito Jackson. This is Tito's cousin. and. Uh, before I lose my chain of thought, I was looking at the Triumph album on my way in. And yeah. I, you, know, you wrote everybody, man. Yeah, man. That's actually one of my favorite tracks on that album. Actually, me and Tito co wrote it. Okay. Along with several other songs we did for Reedy at the time. It was just a time of my life when I thought I wanted to be a producer. <laughs> now, who actually, because you came in the middle of transition, uh, the end of Motown, litigation, and then to CBS. Yeah. yeah. How did you go about getting the gig? Actually, I, I was real good friends with a, a friend of mine named Hank Red. He played with Stevie Wonder at the time. And when I got to town, they just embraced me and just took me under their way. So I was hanging a lot with Stevie Wonder. Actually, I got to produce Eddie Murphy with Stevie, and I got to work with Jeff Lorber with Stevie. You know? okay. So I was kind of in the game like that. And uh, Nate Watts, who was Stevie's bass player, just did the Destiny album. Nate is sick, y'all. Yeah. For those people who don't know <laughs> Nate, Bad. Yeah, so they just kind of like, well, I just did this Michael album, man. You ought to, you ought to come on the road with them. I, at the time, I was playing with Sergio Mendez. And uh, we just did Brazil 77, and they were in transition, didn't know if they wanted to go out or not. So I went over to an audition uh, the Jackson house, the Havenhurst house. It was so funny, Marlon pulled up in a Stutz Bear cat. I didn't know what a Stutz Bear cat was. <laughs> But it had like the little Bates trunk on the back of it. He had to get out the safari hat. I went, Man, who is this guy? <laughs> you know? Marley came out and he just had a bunch of charts for Quincy. And I actually played in Oklahoma City Symphony. I was a straight this player. Yeah, it means you bad. He's like Marcus Miller bad. He's doing stuff like that. <laughs> well, I'm not that bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, if you're playing with the symphony, you bad. Man. Yeah, but well, uh, uh, I broke out the music and Marlon broke out the music and he said, read that. And I read it, and it, it sounded like the record. Okay, yeah, you can read. <laughs> he said, well, read that. And I read it. Said, well, it sounds like the record. He said, we'll call you. So I went home and went, oh, man, I blew that. <laughs> I you ended up getting the gig anyway. Oh, and he called me with, okay, you got the gig. We're going to Europe. Wow. And so that's my first job was going to Europe. Now, was that like post Motown, or was it? Like right at the very that end. That was right at the end of Motown. Actually, they had just got to do some with the guys in Philadelphia. Uh, oh, so this had to be early, late 75 or early 76? Actually, 70, 76. Okay. Early 70, late 76. Yeah. Because we toured Europe in 77. The only, remember, the only way I remember these tours is uh, tour jackets. <laughs> I got tour jackets. <laughs> so I got the 77 tour, I got the 82 tour, and uh, the 80. 83 tour. I got to get to my man Keith because there's a lot of questions I want to ask you about that Triumph tour. Now, see, you didn't start it something, man. I'm about to shut Keith out the interview. The Triumph tour, man. The Triumph tour. Oh. You played the question, correct? Correct. That's good. Cool. You played back in uh, Gary Nene? Gary Nene? Oh, yes, definitely. I have my own band back home that I do. Uh, actually, I'm bass, vocal, and percussion. Uh, my group band. Uh, I was just fortunate enough to uh, come out to the family reunion. Uh, Ended up playing on stage with Tito. And uh, Tito and Murray liked it so much. They come from the games. Now, I hear that Ronnie Ransomford, my favorite keyboard player, right. and Johnny Jackson are still playing. Yes, uh, yes, they are. Yeah, yeah. So Johnny and Ronnie, they really, real great musicians still doing it. And uh, they love what they're doing. It's in their heart all their lives. So 
great. For those of you who may not know, yeah. just to give you kind of a brief, uh, if you are like me and you're a Jackson 5 fanatic, uh, you remember <laughs> Ronnie Ransford, the dude who uh, used to play the keyboards at all the shows, the first tour, the Going Back to Indiana tour, and later on the same thing with Johnny, American Bandstands, Flipping the Sticks, and the whole nine yards. Just so you know, get an idea you know, what we're talking about. Every time he did Soul Train, those two cats was with him. Every time he did American Bandstand, they was with them, the Diana special, wherever it was, those cats were with them. Yeah. Yeah. Johnny had the big hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the big yeah. cold up hat. You know, I didn't realize like, Johnny had that bad. I was like, it, man. I was looking at this old TV footage that I have called Hell's Alive. And they were doing Sugar Daddy Live, and Johnny was hit. Right, right. He's still plays strong games. He's one of the hardest drummers that I, that actually, that I had the opportunity to play with. It really still hits me hard. I mean, yeah. he's, he's a strong, strong drummer. Keeps so what's the name of the group? It's called Triple Dose the group. So, yeah, yeah. You're pretty good. Okay, man, I got to set a website. There's okay. going to be a lot of people who's going to want to, you know, right. find out what's, what's going, going on. on. Right, okay. Okay, yeah. definitely. Y'all get a lot of gigs back east? Oh, just yeah, oh, yeah, like Chicago, pretty much uh, all that area, you know, the northwest of the county, so, yeah. Do you ever, being in Gary, Indiana, go back by the house yes. and just kind of just... Yes, it is. It's, well, actually, my uncle still lives in the house, and I go and visit him occasionally. And just to sit there, you feel you get this this feeling, the vibe of this, you know. Of the what's house. there? Yeah, what's there, and where, and where the house, you know, is, you know, just them being there, and they used to stay there, and just you still feel it. You walk in, you feel the warmth, you know. So it's great, dude. So it's great. Thanks for joining us, kid. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Oh man, I got the Jackson. I'm gonna cut my hand, cut his hand, and get the blood mixed, and then I'm a Jackson. There you go. And one and only Mike McKinney. Oh, thank you. Hey, let's get to some more entertainment, and we'll be back to close out in a few moments.